Hi, I'm Star Williams. And I'm Venus Crystal. And welcome back to the Julia the Baby Yay! Patrick's back, so I don't have to fumble my way through uploads. <laughs> At least I didn't foregore. I, I I did not. Yeah, I'm sorry. I <laughs> was literally, dude. I was in between vacations at that time. Like, I literally, I got back from North Bay, and then three days later, I was in Montreal. We like we didn't have time to get like we didn't get groceries. We didn't do anything, so I didn't I didn't get to do anything. But yeah, I posted a meme. <laughs> Valen thought it was funny. She she she. Uh, we went to Laron. Yeah, we we went to La Ronde and I was talking about the YouTube channel. She's like, "Yeah, you posted some weird meme with your face photoshopped onto Hilda's Fire Emblem ending portrait." And I'm like, "Yeah, I didn't know what else to do." Cool. Uh, Hunt it, you it, it, <laughs> the thing is, your long shoulders and muscles. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> I think that video is pretty good, considering my editing. Especially because like Jay Schlatt's where... name, Jay Schlatt's real name is Jared. <laughs> that's not it. That's not true. It's true. Look it's it up. It's not true. That look, cannot. Look it up. No. <laughs> Why would his name be Jared? How, I, a man. How can a man named Jared in America? No one has the name Jared in America. Jay Schlatt. He he pushed it under the radar. No, it says Jonathan. Nah, nah, nah. It's Jared. Shut up, Patrick. There's... Uh, <laughs> you try to pull the wool over my eyes. I am literally not. Um... <laughs> Google doesn't lie. I'm gonna Google it. Is I googled Jay Schlatt's real name? Jay Schlatt. Because we're kind of fighting. Jared now. Schlatt. Okay, where did you get that from? Well, considering he did an interview with Anthony Anthony Padilla. <laughs> oh, the Padilla. Yeah, he did a I Spent a Day With, and it was I Spent a Day With Jay Schlatt. And um, they hooked Jeez, him up to a lie detector a and, and, and asked him, uh, and asked him, like, he was going to go through a list of names, but then he said, is your name Jared? Schlatt says no, and failed the lie detector test. <laughs> Interesting. And he's like, okay, well, that's done then. I don't have to ask you any other names. <laughs> yeah. Jared Schlatt. That's... Yeah, I met Jared. And he's a very strange man. He hits keyboards on tables and breaks them. Why are the tables made of cardboard? This summer was crazy. Maybe it was for me. I don't know if your summer was crazy, but my summer was crazy. How was your summer, Patrick? As we're both going back into school in, like, literally two weeks. Well, I have a job that I am neither satisfied nor dissatisfied with. Um, As we often are. How was that? How was Avril Lavigne? Not Adam Lavigne. Avril Lavigne. Fuck <laughs> Sure, I saw Adam Levine. Yes, please. I saw Adam Levine. You saw Avril Levine. We both collectively saw Levines. Yeah, but I saw the better of the two Levines. Yes, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Avril Levine was a uh, perfect. Uh, it was a good show. Um, actually, you know what's interesting is that it was a twofer. I didn't even know this. But yeah, simple, simple plan, plan did plan half of the there. concert. Makes sense. Canadian classic. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I saw the I saw the pictures on your Instagram. I was like, oh, 
Jean. I forgot she was doing a show. Wind went as well. I saw that. I saw that. I actually so. video called her during the show to see where she was sitting. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Meanwhile, I was I was not in Montreal. I was at home. It was very interesting. I was trying to sleep. And I opened Instagram. It's like, oh, Adam Levine. Ah, ah, fuck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and let me just say, this does not go against the rule of um of you know supporting local because because Avril is from Napanee. Ontario, which is only two hours away. Damn. So, she's Japanese. a local artist that we're supporting, okay? <laughs> uh, very funny. Oy, man. Yeah, I did, I did a lot of stuff this summer that I'm pretty sure I don't know if I talked about on the podcast. I went on four trips this summer, which is crazy, because... I don't usually do that. Two oh, of them were trips tripping? I orchestrated myself. Yeah. Yeah. I went to Montreal twice this summer. Three times this year. Because <laughs> I, I can't get enough of that city. And then I went to Toronto, but I don't really say I went to Toronto because I only went there to see Melanie Martinez. And I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't like Toronto. Mm. I don't. I go there because there are certain things there. And I don't like it there. I not don't the same think way I've I like any Montreal. vacations this year. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Well, I went to Toronto for Melanie Martinez. I went to Montreal for Valen's birthday. I went to North Bay because we go to North Bay because my mom likes it and she grew up there for like five years. And then we went to Montreal again because my dad went to Malibu and we wanted to do something. So I went to La Ronde this weekend, or on Friday. You went to the round. <laughs> yes. And then Valen and I tried to get on a ride made for children and the woman's like, no, c'est pour les enfants. Tu es too fucking big. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> she didn't say that, but like, it was a ride for kids. We didn't realize and we're like, oh, oops. No, 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 no. No, it's like, pull it off. And then, and then we got stopped by, what, actually, I'm not going to talk about that because that part's not great. But, yeah, but it was fun. I got fast passes because I'm a bougie bitch. Mm. And I wanted, I didn't want to have to deal with the long lines, which there were. There was a lot of people there on Friday. I like fast passes. It was passes. Friday and it was sunny. I like them. What? I like fast passes. I like yeah, I like them because they have a thing on your phone and you just click which ride you want to go on and they scan a QR code. It's great. Nice. I want to treat myself next and summer and actually go somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wanted to do that. Well, I wanted to do a thing where we got the gang together and did something, but the problem is the summer is reaching a very close end and I don't know if we can really do that. We're getting the band back together. <laughs> yeah. Because we're going to be going back to school. I don't know how long you're going, but I have to go back for two years. Well, this course that I'm doing oh. is, is, is one year, like the performing arts. It's the, mm. it's the same kind of thing. It's a certificate. Um, oh. Though Damn. I was thinking potentially of going back the year afterwards for the film course. Like the just a hundred percent film mm. course. Mm. I'm just not Cause, sure cause, yeah. I'll be able to afford it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's understandable. I yeah, no, radio is two years, so I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be waiting until 2026. My parents will turn 60 by the time well by the time I graduate that program. That's crazy. Well, that is a little crazy. Yes, it's weird. And and the next year they'll be married for thirty years, so that's pretty cool. Huh. Yeah. 
Because they got married in, tw in 1995. So they waited 10 years to have was... you. Yes, not by choice, though. <laughs> As you remember, I am an in vitro baby. I was supposed to be born earlier, but, you know, infertility exists. It was very hard. Hey, you know, you years, just had baby. to be egged on. <laughs> very funny, you bastard. <laughs> <sighs> Are you excited about coulage, Patrick? What's coulage? Oh, college. Um. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe this year we'll actually yeah. get to partake in the fun day one stuff. Yeah, we'll actually be able to... Oh my god, I had a nightmare at that. It wouldn't let me into orientation, which was traumatizing, but not real, so don't have to worry about that. Fiona yeah, Smith, maybe this time we won't... You are banned from the college campus. Yeah, they literally would not let me in. It was like this weird dream. It was like, no, you can't. You can't go to your thing. Your your ticket's invalid. It's like, I bought the ticket yesterday. It's invalid. Go die. What did you buy a ticket for? Okay. Well, you don't have to buy a ticket, but you have to register your ticket for orientation. Huh? You know, on Eventbrite. What? You know that, right? Ticket? For what, though? To say that you're going. You have to, you have to, like, register a ticket. I think it's, like, for the orientation, so they know who's coming. That doesn't make sense. I paid for college, well, I'm you coming. you should have got an email about it, like, register your sp spot at orientation or something, I don't know. I had to do it both times. Maybe it's just a me thing, I don't know. You not? Did you not register last time we went to school? No. With the on Eventbrite? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh my god. You're supposed to do that, dude. I'm also hoping that this round of college, I don't make half the dumb decisions that I did the first time. Because Jesus Christ. I, I look back and I wonder what the fuck was going through my tiny little bleach brain hole. Hmm. You there? I'm here. <laughs> I'm just getting that ticket now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you get an email and they say... Is a hey, yeah, get your ticket for the AC day one. Yeah, right. So I know I have to do my scare acting thing anymore. <laughs> Did you do it? Well, I gotta do some. I gotta do another another step. So just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Order confirmation for AC day one. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I am. I am. I am. Oi vey, Patrick. Oi vey. Get too many tickets. This is a riveting podcast episode. <laughs> hey, no one came here because, because, uh, because, uh, why did people come here? I don't know. I have no idea. We'll figure it out. Uh, we will figure it out. Yeah. It's great. I have two tickets on Eventbrite right now. One is AC Day 1, and then the other one is an SFW bingo. Nice. <laughs> it's not the one at Algonquin. It's one being put on by um, City at Night, the place that Olivia works at. Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, you want to come to, like, Dirty Bingo? And I'm like, would I? 
I am basically a veteran of that game. <laughs> I hope that they do it at Algonquin again, because that's like one of the crowning jewels of the Algonquin experience is Dirty Bingo. I remember when they first did get to Dirty Bingo. <laughs> you didn't even come. That's because I didn't, didn't even care show up. for it. I am not the type of person. Amazing. I am not the type of person to show up to a drag event, unless it's related to cars. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I'm not gonna lie. The drag scene in Ottawa is kind of ass, but this one's fun. Honestly, like Dirty Bingo is fun. Except I, except Dirty Bingo is, I, I also think is kind of cursed, because <laughs> cursed things happen at Dirty Bingo. But whatever, that's neither here nor there. I cannot deny or confirm if that's Dirty Bingo's problem, or um, a me problem, because it very well could be. But I, but many many things have happened at the Dirty Bingo that I it sounds like I it sounds like I've done horrible things I haven't nothing that bad happened it's just there's a dichotomy of good and evil that comes from the Dirty Bingo experience. I truly hope that the one at City at Night is not as demonic. Mm. <clears throat> How's the ticket thing going, Patrick? I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put your name in and your postal code. You... Enter your credit card. No, you don't have to do that. It's free. Uh, what about the three numbers on the back? Should I say that on the podcast, too? No! <laughs> no! Well, damn it. Nah, I might. <laughs> nah. Just... Yeah. Maybe yeah. I hope I hope that AC day one is cool because I didn't get to do it last year because it was too grumpy to actually participate. I literally walked onto campus, went and sat um in the corner until orientation started, and then left. <laughs> I could have used that. Time to literally do anything else, and I didn't. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I I well, was I, I was also not a, a not a not a fun person to be around at the time. I was just mm -hmm. a person who came in, uh, yeah, listened to the thing, and then left. <laughs> yeah, you were one of the first people I ever saw. It was you. Clara May, and I don't remember who else, but you were one of the first. Oh, you, Clara May, and Folk. <laughs> you were the second person that I saw from the program with my with my eyes. With my own eyes. With my own eyes. Yeah. No, that. Yeah, you were the one of the first people I saw. I was like, ah, a pink-haired person. A pink-haired person. Interesting. Actually, when I first met you. I thought you were a weeb. Like, when I first saw you, I thought you were a weeb. Hmm. <laughs> Boy, was that wrong. Yes. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Weeb. It's like, no. Not at all. Actually, you are very incorrect. Incorrect. And then, ev and then everyone who saw me was like, whore. It's like, yes, pretty much. Unfortunately, my call. That's what, that's what, that's what I did in college for two, three months of that time so you know what kind of a valid response i also certainly dressed very interestingly though that doesn't really that hasn't changed i literally went to montreal and bought like a shit ton of new stuff for school i believe in my head the first uh opinion <laughs> i had of you was oh very attractive <laughs> yeah that's i think that's everyone's opinion <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm not. <coughs> I'm not wrong. No. That no. was a lot of people's first opinion. Are you worried about going back someone... again this time and guys hitting on you again? Yeah, but I'm a bit smarter this time. I won't go to their house. 
Wanna play yeah. Smash Bros? <laughs> yeah, and then we did. <laughs> Thank god Ethan came over, because if he didn't, I probably would have died there. Yeah, yeah, let's just say that guy was only looking to smash. He wasn't doing anything about bros. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't want to smash the bros, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Even though he said he's bisexual. I have doubt. Yeah, and then there was the and then there was the guy who liked Twitter porn, mm. and then there was Shrek. The human Shrek was an interesting experience. I know that's mean, but I also don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they looked like Shrek. It was a it was a very not riveting experience for Tiny Fiona, so it's like no. And then and then December, <laughs> glorious December. The the day of month of Christ or something. This is not the month of Christ. And then there was the gong show. The gong show. Oh, that one was terrible. Was the gong show is the epitome. The one the of year evil. after was way better. Yeah, because I wasn't there. That's what the thing. I wasn't there to curse it with the cursed cursedness of everything. <laughs> <laughs> December first and the Gong Show are the, the demonic days. I can't wait as I to, like to call them. I can't wait to watch the one this year. Yeah, yeah, we can watch it and judge it and be like, yeah, that was a million times better than any of the things that I had to. Do. You weren't even in it. Bless God, bless you. Thank God you were not in it. You had to watch it. Though. I wasn't in it. However. Of course, I always talk to Logan about things. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, I think I saw one of his scripts before the show, and yeah. I thought it was quite good. I just don't remember which one it was. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the one that I did, that I was in. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The dildo one. <laughs> that one. That one. Sucked. I hate. I hate it. And you brought your own. Demonic time? What? And you brought your own. <laughs> what does that mean? Your own dildo. Oh! <laughs> uh, 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 why did I do that? I, I make. I, make I, 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 I hate that I did that on live air. Why did you do that, Fiona? It wasn't used. For any for people's information, it wasn't used. But I hate that I did that. I I I, I hate that day in general. That day was full of poor decision making, and <clears throat> it serves as a reminder not to do that at all. <laughs> do not do the gunk show, or you will die. You Much like die. I did. I will die. And I'll go to a shitty restaurant and eat shitty caviar. Not caviar, calamari. And I don't even know if I ate anything else other than shitty calamari. Why did I eat shitty calamari? Calamari sucks. It's really weird and pasty, and I don't like it. Why, Why did, did you I eat, eat Squidward? It? <laughs> Why did you eat... <laughs> Why did you eat I had no Admiral choice. Akbar? I didn't even order it. I didn't even order it. It's Someone a trap. Did and I just ate it. I didn't even order it. Someone else did, and I just ate it out of obligation. I see. And yeah, no, that. Yeah, I just. I hope that all the stuff that I did last time I was in school. I'd say last year, but it's been a year since I've been in school. No, oh, what a year it has been. I just hope that I don't make the same mistakes. And if I do, you'll know about it because I'll talk about it on this podcast. And you guys you'll, can you'll say, You'll talk about it on this it, podcast Fiona. and on the air. <laughs> yeah, I'll, talk, I'll tell you guys all about how I recreated it. No, 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 no. I cannot afford to do that. I wonder. That would be bad. Do you think you'll you'll Thank start? You no. Know. Do you think you'll start a podcast called The Ladder Boys and? <laughs> uh, huh, huh, no. 
Unfortunately not. Dawson is chaotic good. I am chaotic evil. Or at least chaotic neutral. What would you call me at this point? Uh, lawful neutral. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mean to so many people, What would you though. call me? No, you're not. <laughs> you're less mean than I am. I'm brutal. I'm, I, you've just heard me talk about, like, call someone human Shrek, and then talk about how December 16th was my biggest regret. I am horrible to people. <laughs> you have to hear me shit talk people on the daily. <laughs> you don't, you barely talk about anyone. You don't even talk about the people who've wronged you negatively. You are incredibly level-headed. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Maybe that, or you just don't talk about that kind of stuff to me, because usually I'm too busy shit-talking other people to you. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Was that I stayed a up till two in the morning. I stayed up till two in the morning last night. I went clubbing. How dare you As go clubbing? As one does. It was a it was Sunday night. night. It was techno night. And the techno fact that blade never so dies. <laughs> Yeah, well, usually I go on Thursdays, but this time I went on a Sunday, and it wasn't really that great because none of the people that we knew were there, and there was a bunch of creepers. Oh man. <laughs> Creeper. Oh man. Oh man. I, 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 as I heard myself say that, I was like, yeah, I have to do the joke. You just gotta. You, to you just it. gotta. It's a social obligation at this point. Yeah. You hear the word as, creeper, as you just go, captain. creeper. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> as the great Captain Sporkles has retired, kind of. YouTube he's retirement. A com and he's YouTube a commentator advice. YouTuber now. He doesn't do anything uh, else, really. Yeah. YouTube exile slash YouTube retirement is an interesting thing because, oh boy, it's been a f mess. YouTube has been a mess. And also, apparently, Susan Wojcicki died. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna talk about that with someone. I just don't remember because, like, it didn't happen on a podcast week and it was just mm -hmm. weird timing. Mm-hmm. I completely in peace, forgot. Susan Wojcicki. Rest yeah. in peace to the woman who I monetized YouTube. Yeah. And then, then there was the guy who ruined it. The, the FCC guy. I don't remember his name. He was a weird man. Weird man. I like I'd, that I talk about... <laughs> Yeah. I talk. There's a there's a person who like. Like, made a reaction video reacting to him reading mean tweets, but I don't want to say the YouTuber reacted to it because they are on the YouTube blacklist now. I see. Which is just... What? I what? said I see. Yeah. It's like... I Like, the, the YouTube... The YouTube community... Is... Strange. It's like everyone... Has like a shit ton of skeletons in their closet. Right now, they YouTube don't, they is the just... online retirement home where there's a couple of racist grandpas and the rest are fine. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and a lot of creepers. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean that's the thing is like the racist grandpa is also the 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 the, the predator. Yeah. Who will groom me tonight? That's the, the question. question. I hate that that's what that song has been turned into. But I it's mean, also to very be fair. True. It's like every... To be fair. Yeah. Those songs are bad.
bangers. And I mean, if Pharrell yeah. is going to release a diss track, it would be always disguised because he is child friendly. He's what? He's child. He's child friendly when it comes to those. When it comes to making oh. music about those, yes. those films and such. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, he, 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 he little Luna Pharrell's gonna pull a Kendrick and like make a diss track about YouTube. No, that's not gonna happen. It'd be funny though. Have you I've ever also, seen YouTube yeah. diss tracks? Yes, I've seen YouTube diss tracks. I've seen many. I've saw seen the KSI ones and the the whatever whatever group they were part of. Um, the the the, the I don't the know. Side man? And then Jake Paul. What? The, the Sidemen? Sidemen, yes, there we go. The Sidemen diss tracks. And I remember Logan Paul and Jake Paul doing diss tracks. And um, Rice Gum has done diss tracks. Gabby, di Hannah did a diss track. Uh, it's every day, bro. Is that a diss track? I thought that was just a song that existed. I th I think it's one of the Paul brothers dissing the other brother. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, the Yeah, no, but I've seen I've seen um I've seen diss tracks before, but it's usually the Paul brothers or it's the sidemen. Mhm. Mm we should those, make a diss track were... for Truly Imagination Entertainment. It's, just find would, someone to put be pick, pick pick beef with and just no we just what we do is we diss each other we have like a two part thing and where you diss me and then I diss you and then, and then that's how we do it <laughs> <laughs> what kind of disses can I pull on you many mm -hmm. many disses there are so many things you can diss me on. That sounds so, like, low self-esteem, but I don't mind. I don't mind making fun of the things that I've done, because for the most part, they haven't really affected me too much. They've affected me, but I can laugh at most of it. This is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. You're laughing I like Sans. I, I was Woody the Woodpecker just then. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I could try and do the flowy laugh, but I don't think I can. Like, I can't get the frequency for it. Oh, yeah. That's a crazy I'm laugh. Flowy. Flowy the flower. I'm your friend in the end of the world. <laughs> it's something like that. But it's like heavily distorted, so it's like I can't. That was actually heavily distorted it. because you were like fading in and out and such while laughing. So. <laughs> hey, maybe that'll work. Well, you'll find out when the podcast the... comes out if it worked. <laughs> yeah. It'll be within yeah. the last six minutes. <laughs> yep. And then there's the then there's the the metaton. Oh yes. <laughs> Metaton is my favorite character from Undertale. I cosplayed them when I was in grade 10, and everyone kept asking me what anime character I was, and I kept getting so pissed off. Imagine someone who likes anime is getting angry that people are asking what anime character I used character to hate anime. <laughs> really? I used to hate anime. Wow. Yeah, from grade, from grade 7 to grade 12, I had a hatred for anime. I don't know if you saw in the last podcast um, that I did with Logan, but I like went on a rant about Oron High School Host Club because two people that I went to school with used to force me to watch it because they knew I hated anime and it was the worst thing I ever watched and I never wanted to watch it again. But you yeah, know, for like six years, I had a hatred of anime and I would not watch it. Huh. So yeah. I guess I didn't get yeah. that far in the podcast then. Unless I just had it in yeah. through one ear and out the other. Yeah. I, I, did you enjoy the, the 
the photo edit that I made at least. I yes, thought that was yes, funny. yes. I, did you like the funny <coughs> comment I made once I remembered what I was going to comment on it? <laughs> I, I do not. I have to go look because I don't think I don't think I've really looked. I've been I've been fucking. I've been I've been busy. I've been busy. That's beezy, that's the beezy, meme. No. Beezy. Stop. No. The meme. There we go. Um, let me see. Glad you got to spend quality time with your boyfriend. With our boyfriend. Uh, what is this, a communist regime? <laughs> it's not your boyfriend, it's our boyfriend. <laughs> well, you know, everyone in Truly Imagination Entertainment is dating Logan. Jesus Christ. No. We all have our own lore behind Logan. Because that's the way he yeah, likes our it. Lore, the lo <laughs> 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 uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, Logan. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Logan. <laughs> it must be so difficult for him having to juggle so many people at once. Sounds that like That sounds fun. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh. Uh. Am I disturbing you this too podcast much? <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> Not as much as some people have disturbed me, honestly. I've heard some traumatizing things about people. So... This podcast is all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> we are very off our game today. We uh, don't have an organized thing to talk about. These usually end up being the better no. episodes, but uh, this week it's uh, hit or True. miss. <laughs> yeah. Hit or miss. I spent most of my time watching the spiders in the corner of my basement spin webs. They're very large spiders. For some reason, we have to buy we have spiders. Why am I from New York now? Because <laughs> you said spiders, and so therefore you just decided to be Kingpin and were like, Spider-Man. <laughs> if I could do a really raspy voice, I could sound like that one person. The fucking, you know the, the fucking, my, my uncle was a Jehovah's Witness, and, my, and yeah, he went from Catholic to Jehovah. So my grandma wanted us all to be Jehovah's Witness. And you know, my dad's doing coke. My mom's teasing the hell with the vodka, but you know that. I don't, but I'm it sounds like an old schlatt trying to talk about <laughs> his parents or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that what schlatt did? What? Because I only saw, like, the meme stuff about him. Schlitt is just a guy from New York. He's a guy from New York who left New York. I know what he did in 99, by the way. <laughs> what did he do in 99? You don't want to know. Now I'm curious. You're going to have to tell me after the episode. <laughs> I can't even tell you what he did after the episode. I just know what he did. <laughs> Okay, now you're just making shit up. <laughs> That's what half the fan base does to him anyway. <laughs> Make shit up? Yeah. You ever seen the lore? <laughs> no. Uh, no, I... Funny enough, I'm not the biggest, like, schlatt. <laughs> and I kind of just followed some of the memes, and that was about it. And him and his very interesting friendship with the... The woman. Oh, Minx. The woman. I don't remember her name. Just a Minx. Yeah, Minx. Yeah. I saw a YouTube video on her recently. I'm like, Jesus Christ. That is traumatizing. I see. But, you yes, know, that Minx guy, lady. he uh, left England and then the Queen of England died. Uh. 
Any hoozles. With that all being hmm. said, it's uh, been a wonderful podcast. <laughs> yes, it is. Thankfully, hopefully this episode will be better than the one I did. Hey, well, it's a... Uh... We'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye.